Hi there, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Emma, I'm an independent sales consultant with Norwex, and I just wanted to share some of my very favorite products with you. There are five in particular that I wanna share with you today. These five products make up a package called the Safe Haven Five. And I love this package so much because these products, with these five products, you can do so much in your home. You can probably do about 90% of the cleaning in your home with these five products. So I wanna um, go over them and I'm gonna show you guys them in action for the most part, not all of them, but most of them. So let's do the EnviroCloth first. Our EnviroCloth is an incredibly versatile product. If you are familiar with Norwex, you probably are familiar with the EnviroCloth. This is um, kind of the trademark um, product for Norwex. So there are three things that make this cloth, as well as most of our products, so great, and what makes them stand apart from other microfiber you're gonna find on the market. The first is that our, um, our Enviro cloth, our microfiber in general, is incredibly fine. Like the little tiny fibers that they put into this cloth are so fine. Standard microfiber has to be one sixth of one strand of human hair to be considered microfiber. So that's pretty small to begin with, probably microscopic. Um, but these are one two hundredths of one strand of human hair. So you can imagine just how tiny those fibers are. And that's what allows um, the cloth to pick up up to 99% of bacteria on your surface. The second thing is that our cloths are so dense, you can't really see it from here, but they're really, really absorbent. They're just jam packed full of fibers. If you were to unravel this one cloth, it would go from Canada all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico which is pretty darn insane. Um, it's a very long way, it's over 1800 miles. So that, this one cloth has that much fiber in it. And that's what allows your cloth to be so absorbent. It's literally picking up 99% of bacteria. It's drawing it to the center. It's literally pulling the bacteria to the center of the cloth and it's trapping it there so that it won't cross contaminate from surface to surface. Um, and then lastly, our, uh, our cloths, most of them, not every single product that we sell, but most of them have what we call backlock technology. And that backlock technology is silver that's embedded into every single fiber of your cloth. And if you're familiar with silver, you might know that um, it kills off bacteria. It actually inhibits bacterial growth and it kills bacteria as well. So your cloths are self-sanitizing. So you can go much longer between washes than you normally would. Normally, if we clean up a really gross job, we're gonna wanna wash our cloth right away. However, with Norwex products, you don't have to. And I'm gonna show you this right now. We're gonna clean up some raw chicken off my counter and I'm gonna show you how we can keep using the cloth without having to worry about it cross contaminating. So I'm gonna bring you guys right over here to my counter. And what I have here is I have protein swabs and these protein swabs are going to test whether or not protein is present on a surface because if it is, that means bacteria is going to grow on that surface. It is a breeding ground for bacteria. Anything over um, 41 degrees is just going to become a cesspool of bacteria and grossness. So we're gonna test whether or not um, we've got protein on the surface and then we're gonna clean it up and test again. So I've got my raw chicken here. Yum. We all love raw chicken, right? Not many of us would do this, but we're gonna rub this raw chicken on my counter. Yucky. This isn't what I normally do when I cook, but for the sake of testing. All right, so let's see. What we wanna see is whether or not the swab is gonna turn green or purple. Green indicates clean. How clever, huh? <laughs> and then purple indicates that it is dirty, that there's protein present. So you can see that it is turning purple. So I'm gonna put this aside and we are going to take our Enviro cloth and we're gonna fold it in fourths. The reason I do this is because um, I wanna make sure that my surface, or that my um, cloth is flat on my surface so that it's picking everything up. If I bunch this up, and clean, it's gonna miss some things. And I want it, I want to make sure I'm getting every single thing up because we're not cleaning with chemicals. We're mechanically cleaning, which means we are removing the bacteria from my surface. So I'm gonna take my cloth and I've got the tag facing up just so we remember what side I cleaned with. All right, I'm gonna put the dirty side facing up for now. I've got my clean swab here. I'm gonna test again. All right, as you can see, it's nice and green. 
as opposed to that purple one. So what we did was we literally removed bacteria, but now you're probably wondering, ew, it's inside that cloth. So I told you earlier that we don't have to worry about cross-contaminating. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tags facing up again. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna clean another surface. Okay. And I'm going to come over here and now test to see if we transferred what was over here to over here because with normal cloths, we would for sure be doing that. All right, staying green, okay? And then I'm gonna test my cloth itself, okay? Staying green. All right, and just to show you guys how sensitive these cloths are, I'm gonna now rub my swab on my chicken just to show you guys that it will in fact turn purple if I wanted it to. So it could go from purple or green to purple. Um, so just like to show that it's not trickery here. Nothing crazy going on. All right. So that's my Enviro cloth in action. And now I'm going to show you guys the window cloth in action. I'm going to use my same Enviro cloth. I'm not even going to take the time to wash it. Um, not yet. I'll wash it later. I'll clean it. You know, I'll rinse it off later, but I'm not going to wash it, wash it. But here we go. So I'm at my, um, I'm going to do my window and Enviro cloth together because these really are a pair. So here's my stainless steel, um, a dishwasher. <laughs> struggling with my words. Um, my stainless steel dishwasher has butter on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the butter with the Enviro cloth. And the reason I use butter is just cause it's easy, it's visible. And we know that butter's mis like just not easy. If I had Windex here, this would take me a little bit of time. So I just like to show how easily our cloth removes that. Oh, sorry. All right, so when I come close, you can see the smears, like the, the um, you know, how it would leave, it wouldn't be streak free. So I've got my window cloth and my window cloth is what's going to help this be streak free. Our window cloth is um, a lint free cloth and it's designed to polish. So here you go, I'll bring you closer. You guys can see that there's like nothing left behind. Um, and the reason why it does such a great job is like I said, it's lint free. So it, it's just meant to, um, to polish. It's not really cleaning, but it's polishing. And it does also have that silver in it. So if it is picking up any gross things, that silver is gonna help it out. Um, and then, so it's good for windows, mirrors, stainless steel. I like to use it on my granite countertops just to get them nice and shiny. All right, so let's talk about my dusting mitt. I'm not gonna dust for you, but I am gonna show you um, how I dusted earlier and how much dust this is holding. So this is my dusting mitt. See how much dust it's holding? So easy. I love the dusting mitt because it completely eliminates my need for pledge. I, I hate using pledge, I hate the smell of it, but what I also hate is that when you use pledge, you notice like right away you've got dust again and you're like, what the heck? Well, the reason is because that, um, those chemicals have a, leave a film on your, um, on your furniture and it actually just attracts dust right back. So you're, you're spraying and you're like just swarming dust all around your house and then it's coming right back onto your surface. So with this, it's the same principle as with our Enviro cloth. We're literally removing the dust from our surface. So it's no longer in my house. It's no, well, it's in my house cause it's on my mitt, but it's no longer swarming around my house or on my furniture. And I don't have to use any chemicals at all. Um, so, I just like to show you guys that, how much it holds. And if I wanted to keep dusting, and I feel like this is a lot of dust on my mitt, I could get my rubber brush and I could just, just um, du uh, scrape it right into my trash can. So that's how I would do if I felt like I had too much dust on my dusting mitt, but I wanted to keep going. All right, so now I wanna talk about my cleaning paste. I love the cleaning paste, guys. It's like elbow grease in a jar. I'm gonna show you the um, lid here. The cleaning paste is such a great product. I love it. I love it for lots of things. I love it for grout. I love it for my um, stove top. I love it for shining up my sink, cleaning my sink really good. I also love it for the artists that are in the home. Okay, so I've got myself a Sharpie here. I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna just Sharpie a little smiley face on my floor. All right, you see my you guys closer to it so you can see. All right, so I've got my Enviro cloth and I've got a little bit of the paste. Okay, and I'll let that sit for just a second. And just to let it get dry. Okay. Yep, nice and dry. So I've got the paste and I've got the Enviro cloth. And it is just going to come up like a magic eraser, guys. 
It is awesome. I love the paste so much. So you see it's all gone. And that is the cleaning paste. I love it. It's one of my very favorite products. It gets used like daily. And actually, I'll go ahead and show you. This is how much I've used of it. The lighting's kind of awkward. No, nope, I'm not gonna be able to fix this lighting, but it's about half gone. And I've been using this one since March. So you can imagine it lasts quite a while. It's actually, um, people get confused by it because it's a powdery substance, it's not liquid. Uh, so you actually have to get it wet yourself. So I get my Enviro cloth wet and I just peel off a little bit, I scrape off a little bit of the powder and that makes it into a paste, but it doesn't come to you as a paste. All right, and lastly, I wanna share with you guys about the detergent because the detergent is an amazing product. You don't use it just on clothes. You can use it on um, lots of odd little jobs. People, I've seen people use it on stainless steel because it's a little bit safer for products than the paste. The paste, there are a few things you don't wanna use it on because it could scratch it. Um, but the detergent is completely safe. So people use it on that. They use it on upholstery. I've seen them use it on carpets. I've seen them put it in like, um, like as mop, you know, if they wanna, I don't use any, any of it when I mop. I personally think water does just a great job, but people who want a little bit more um, cleaning power will use the detergent in their mop water. So one thing I want to show you guys, this is a regular detergent, okay? This is your standard, um, it's a power pack. I'm not gonna tell you which brand, but <laughs> it is a power pack. Um, and so what you do, I'm just gonna show you. This has been sitting here for about six months, okay? Look at all that stuff that's still there. It doesn't go anywhere. And I just like to point out that that's on your clothing, that's in your um, washing machines. It's leaving a film inside your pipes, your water pipes, and it's actually molding. And that's sometimes what people, they notice a smell. It's your detergent usually. Um, this is ours, and I just like to shake it up to show you guys that it still does bubble up. There is actually detergent in there, but you can see how clear it is. And it's great, it like, there's nothing there. It's just water um, and detergent, but there's like the bubbles to show you that there's soap in it. But other than that, um, nothing's being left behind on your clothes. It is a perfectly safe, um, free of phosphate, free of pretty much anything that you can imagine that you don't want. I, I need to like memorize this. I always, I always lose this part. Um, but there's no chlorine, there's no bleach, there's no f um, fillers, no SLS, no SLES. Um, there's no brighteners in it, no dyes, no fragrances. Um, this is also perfectly safe for your microfiber, so I always recommend that people use this to clean their microfiber. And my favorite way to clean my microfiber is to boil water. I reduce the heat and I throw all my cloths in. I let them sit there for about 30 minutes with a teaspoon of the detergent, and it does such a great job of just getting in to your fibers and pulling everything out. Um, as we talked about, our fibers are designed to trap stuff. So sometimes hot water doesn't do the trick by itself. So I like to use it in conjunction with our detergent and I found that my microfiber lasts a very long time. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and please uh, don't hesitate to reach out with questions if you have any. Again, my name is Emma and I am a sales consultant with Norwex.